Welcome to this Say Radio documentary, Central Figures, Barry Central Collegiate, in Conflict. In its time, Barry Central Collegiate was one of the premier educational institutions in the province. How do I know? I was afforded the undeserving opportunity of being a student there for five years, including the last before its closure in 2016. Within its walls occupied a student body with a passion for greatness. Whether on the field, the pitch, the stage, or in the classroom, they settled for nothing less. Most people in the area know about its provincial powerhouse rugby program, its world-renowned band, and its great academic achievement. What some may not be aware of, though, is the school's military history. Barry Central is the only school in Simcoe County to have had students and staff serve in both the Boer Wars, both World Wars, and the Korean War. Here, in alphabetical order, are the 49 names of Barry Central Collegiate students and staff who risked their lives to fight for us. Truman Anderson Lloyd Annis James Burke Alan Clark Norman Cook Dalton Corbett Dominic D'Ambrosio Lawrence Davis Bruce Deans Mary Duckworth Claire Dutcher Donald Felt George Furman Leonard Gosney George Henson Robert Henson Leonard Hogan Norman Hooper Harvey Irwin Winston Nupp Stanley Legere, Charlton Lindsay, Joseph McBride, William McCron, Borden McCutcheon, Frank McCutcheon, Gerard McDougall, Parker McMillan, Angus McNabb, Joseph McVeigh, Arden Milne, Mac Mills, Stanley Moon, Robert Oric, Harold Patterson, John Patton, William Porritt, Brian Ralston, Douglas Simpson, Owen Smith, Royal Smith, Vernon Smearn, George Thompson, Ted Wallace, James Weldon, Robert White, Lloyd Willoughby, Norman Wines, and member of staff Lloyd Kippen. Barry Central was the only school in the city of Barry to own a book of remembrance. Each person's name was listed in the book along with a short biography that included their date of birth, rank, where they had served, and where they were killed in combat. I recently traveled to Barry North Collegiate to speak with Mr. Mike Ramsey, a history teacher at Barry Central from 1989 until its closure in 2016, and chair of the school's Canadian and World Studies Department, about Barry Central's Book of Remembrance. It was always on display in the main foyer, at Barry Central for, we're talking 70 years, really since the end of the Second World War. Uh, the Felt family had commissioned a professional calligrapher to handwrite out in alphabetical order uh, the names of the men who had given their lives in service to Canada. It was always on display. We would regularly turn the pages to try and display each name as often as possible. The Book of Remembrance was just one of several things that were crucial in ordaining Barry Central the cream of its crop. Students and staff had opportunities to view the book daily, and many took advantage regularly. Any historical document that is available for your students, fellow staff, to be able to see on a daily basis adds weight to it. The fact that it was in a proper display case and was there for full public view, students would walk past it every day. Many, many students, more than I even imagined, would take a look at it. And if we had not turned a page, accidentally maybe for a few weeks, some students would sometimes come in and say, hey, it's time to turn a page and show more names. And that really shows that it did have meaning to our, our students itself. Each year at Barry Central's annual Remembrance Day service, the school community got an even greater glimpse into the selflessness and sacrifice of the 49 individuals forever immortalized through a single page dedication to their service. Uh, I refer to it in history class lessons, uh, suggest that students take a look at it from time to time and of course in our annual Remembrance Day services in the Fisher Auditorium at Barry Central Collegiate. Uh, the names were read by the uh, male and female heads 
of the Athletic Association. And that really added a lot of weight and meaning to our Remembrance Day services, being the only secondary school in Barrie, in fact, of most of Simcoe County, that actually was old enough to have had students and staff serve in World War I, World War II, and in the Korean conflict. Uh, many other students from Barrie Central also went on to join the armed forces, serve overseas in peacekeeping duties, uh, serve as men and women in the Canadian Armed Forces, a part of NATO duties, and end up going to Afghanistan. So it was really part of the history of Barrie Central Collegiate. The one major accomplishment many of the servicemen from what was at the time Barry Collegiate Institute garnered prior to entering the war was being a high school graduate. This put them on a list among tens of thousands of others to graduate from this distinguished institution. The uh, Royal Canadian Air Force had a stipulation that they wanted high school graduates in order to fly in the air either as enlisted men or as officers. Uh, therefore, this is why so many of the men listed in the Book of Remembrance ended up being high school graduates. As mentioned, Barry Central was the only school in Simcoe County, which stretches from Collingwood to Bradford, to possess such a publication. Ramsey says that it's a piece of history that, even though the school is no more, will live on in perpetuity. We are unique to have that type of book. Um, in fact, uh, I think a lot of students got a lot of meaning out of it. It's, it's one thing to uh, know that you've had people who attended your own high school that have died in conflict overseas. It's another thing to actually be able to see it written down. And this is part of the living history that we continue to have in Simcoe County. Ramsey believes the book is emblematic of the school's military heritage. He also says it speaks to a broader picture of the city of Barrie being home to many current and former Armed Forces members. It was symbolism. It was a constant reminder. Where there was an inspiration itself, I think it contributed to the spirit of the school and the fact that our Remembrance Day services and the fact that we have the largest training base Canadian Armed Forces Base Borden is only 20 kilometers outside of Barrie and we're a military community. There's hundreds of people who retire from the Armed Forces and live in the city of Barrie. We've had many students go on, graduate and then serve their time in the Armed Forces. So it's all a cycle that goes on and I think altogether it lent that idea that our school, our community, our country had a strong and still continues to have a strong military tradition in fighting for freedom and defending democracy. Following the closing of Barrie Central, the Book of Remembrance was donated to the Royal Canadian Legion branch in Barrie. The book is on display and available for members of the Legion in public to view. The names are now read each year at Barrie North Collegiate's Remembrance Day ceremony. Thank you for tuning in to Central Figures, Very Central Collegiate in Conflict. For Say Radio Documentaries, I'm Ben Brown.